Hey guys, I'm Pokemon here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, 10 low end to mid end gems. Um, I presume the reason why a couple, uh, the video which I posted, uh, Building Up Collection Part 3, I presume the reason why I got a decent amount of likes is because people wanted to wanted to see what low end and mid end uh, the cards actually consisted of. So I've compiled a list of 10 cards and um, some of these are low, well they're all pretty much under $10 I think maybe bar 2 some cards change all the time so I wouldn't know what the price of a card when I'm, when I'm making this video is um, a lot of these cards are oh, they have value because of lack of reprint there's, pro there's probably hundreds of these cards and I'm probably going to make these uh, every couple of weeks so if you want to hear more mid-end, low-end gems or even mention some which I've missed I don't mind mentioning those in other videos and stuff there's loads, absolutely loads, a lot of cards hold value for no reason um, and sometimes the reason is lack of reprint so let's just go for it so I'm going to start with uh, Gravekeeper's Recruiter the card is actually quite good. It's probably the only playable one here. Uh, yes, it, well, it is kind of the only playable one here, unless you count Stardust as playable. Um, it's had a start. This original print was Star Strike Blast, and it's an ultra in. Um, I think it's Yugi's World. Yeah, probably Yugi's World. Ultra recruiter, Yugi's or Jerry's World. One of the legendary collections. Um, I think is the ultra rare print. This, the rare print, Star Strike Blast print, is a bit more expensive than the ultra, which is pretty funny, but it happens <laughs> happens randomly. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention Gravekeeper's Recruiter. Uh, it's, I don't know, maybe about $5 or something, but I just thought I'd mention it in case that people weren't aware. Next card I'll talk about is a gift card. Gift cards only had, ever had one print, that is Tactical Evolution in a common. I think it was short print, I'm not exactly sure. Um, to be honest, I don't see why this card would get reprinted anytime soon, unless it gets a random gold rare print. But, you know, that's that's just that. I mean, Nurse Reficle's print was pretty random to make it into a Dark Lord as well. So I was, you know, gift card. It's only really playable in Nurse Burn. Oh, bad reaction, same thing. Uh, I guess you can say the Exodia draw when you use Hope for Escape. And stuff like that. Um, yes, so next we'll talk about is Heart of the Underdog. Now these are not too expensive, but when you sell them as a set, uh, you can get a couple of quid or dollars, whatever. I don't think they're particularly hard to pick up. And this is obviously main, maintained value because people really like... Um, they like old school, they really really like old school. Now obviously a lot of cards are expensive because of old school. And this was it's kind of one of the first kind of Exodia decks. You know, Heart of the Underdog playing all the vanillas and just drawing until you get Exodia, you know. Um, Magical Citadel of Endymion. It's only had one print, again. Uh, it came out I believe in... Structured in... Um, there's two Magician Structure decks. One's Judgment of Spellcasters, the other one's Spellcasters Command. I think it was Spellcasters Command, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and these are usually played in Royal Magical Library dot decks, you know, so. Well, and Spellcaster decks. Spellcasters is a pretty popular archetype. So. Cyber End Dragon. This card isn't. It's not too expensive. Um, there's a lot of rarities of this. I'm not talking about the higher rarities, I'm not talking about the ultimate or the ultra. Um, I'm talking about the low end rares, commons, you know, the low end secrets. They're nice cards to pick up for a quick buck or two. Um, just, even it's had loads and loads of reprints, you know, it's, it's always going to have little value and I guess it's a low end gem. Um, character cards in general sell quite quickly. You know, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, uh, E hero stuff because of Jaden Stardust and we're going obviously Zane Cyber Cyber Dragon Cyber Rain Dragon all of that stuff. Um, I think Cyber Dragon's also quite a quick seller, quite a nice seller, quite a low end mid end seller, but only for the hollow versions. But 
I, I guess I was going to mention that for the next couple of videos, whatever, for low end, mid end, but I mean, it's related to Cyber Dragon, Cyber End Dragon, so why not? Stardust, it's also a character card, you know, you say. And um, it's got a lot of prints. Um, I think Stardust and Cyber Dragon are one of the cards which has the most prints. Um, Stardust hasn't had a dual terminal print, um, Cyber Dragon has, but Cyber Dragon hasn't had a ghost print. Stardust has. So it's whatever it is, you know, they've come in common, super, rare, ultimate, ultra. Anyway, Stardust, regardless of the amount of reprints it gets, has always maintained value. And kind of related to that, shooting Stardust has also maintained value very, very well. Sure, the Ghost Rare is on another level, but we're not talking about the Ghost Rares, we're talking about the easy to get tin versions, super versions, the one that they're very easy to get, so that's what I, I was talking about. Okay, so now we have got uh, four cards left. Four cards, yeah. Totem Dragon. I was expecting this to get a reprint in the Felgrand Structure deck. I was very surprised that it didn't. Unless <laughs> it did. And um, a Red, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon used to be a very, very consistent seller, but that got a reprint in that. The commons used to sell very, very quickly for nice money, and we're talking about. Ten dollars, so roughly about ten dollars for the common ones, but now they're, they're worthless. Uh, they're not re really worth picking up. The commons are still pretty damn cheap, but they used to be very, very quick sellers. So um, Totem Dragon was a very nice seller before. They used to be quite expensive, but now they're pretty cheap, but very quick sellers again. So only ever had one print in Crimson Crisis as a super rare. It hasn't had any starter deck, structure deck print of any kind. Kind of related to it was Decoy Dragon. Decoy Dragon had a common, I think, in structure deck um, dragons or dinosaurs. I don't know, SDR, one of the structure decks. Um, and it had a re recent reprint in this, uh, in the Felgrand structure deck, which I don't know, I'm pointing there because I think I've got some there. I'm not sure, I think I bought the deck um, for the Return of the Dragon Lords because Return of the Dragon Lords is more expensive than the deck itself so I just bought some because I needed the card I didn't want to pay for the single singles Okay, now Notoria Bamboo Shoot only ever had a print in Jewels Revolution as an Ultra or Ultimate um, This card has maintained value since it dropped so of course, when the card came out, it was very expensive. People were like, oh my gosh, this card is broken. The Ultras Ultimates were fetching insane amounts. Remember, Notoria Pineapple was also one of those cards. But of course, ever since then, you know, Notoria's they're worthless. Notoria Beast is like the best card. Notoria Beast is wicked, but Notoria Beast had a lot of prints, so it's not going to maintain the value. But Bamboo Shoes only had one or two or two prints. Um, True's Revolution, one of the greatest sets we've had, you know, you know, Strike, not Strike, sorry, Warning, Valor, Duality, gosh, the Holy Trinity, it's like Sorcerer, Strike, Infinity, Sorcerer, Strike, Infinity, Warning, Valor, Duality, <laughs> and Scrap Dragon as well. So, yes, um, I think it's sitting about 10 quid, regardless of what rarity, maybe 5 to 10 quid, and to be honest, a lot of these cards, there's no reason for them to get a random reprint. So the cards will always, they'll just have value. The last card I'll talk about is Naturia Cherries. I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about 15 cards or something at this point. I only wanted to talk about 10, but 15 is whatever. I, whatever. And um, it's not a bad card. Star Strike Blast has only ever had one print. As in, I'm not talking about just one run of a box. I think, actually, probably has. It hasn't had any special editions, it has not had any tin prints. Um, a lot of the cards in there haven't been reprinted a lot of times. I think we're talking about maybe 20 cards. I mean, 20 cards out of 100 is not, it doesn't seem to be a lot. But think about it, as 20% of the cards in the set have not really been reprinted when we're usually seeing a reprint in a random product every, you know, every couple of weeks, you know? So, uh, yes. Um... Also, I guess you can say Natura Cherries is a cute card. You know, you get people that just collect cute cards, fiends and stuff. So whenever these people um, 
uh, they could, whenever these people, I, I don't know if you call them, I don't know what to call them, just these people, people, people call them weebos, but I just don't want to put a label on people, anyway, when these people see the car, they're like, yeah, I want to buy it, whatever, I'll pay whatever it is, um, Notorious Cherries does randomly see a spike as well, um, because it's not, it's not a bad car, it's a tuner level one, I think it's a tuner level one, and it's got a, um, like a marsh macaron kind of effect, when it's destroyed, you switch on two more or something. I think that's the effect. So uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for for watching. I hope this video was pretty instructive. Um, all I am is just telling you cards that are worth something in case you didn't know of it. So it's cards to try and pick up for. You know, you, you a lot of these cards. I say about half of these cards are going to find in people's binders, and people would not know the value of them. So um, yeah. To be honest, a lot of these cards, how I find them, um, it's usually usually in bulk, so they're cards that people aren't really value. So when I'm going through bulk, you know, I'm going through a bunch of commons or horrors and stuff, and I find this stuff, I'm like, oh, all right, that's pretty cool. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I hope I here. Hope you've enjoyed this video, as I said thousands of times. And uh, yes, I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Whoa. Alright then, I will see you tomorrow. And you saw me yesterday. Ho ho ho.